Our storm watch coverage continues and there's a lot to get to. We are going to see the snow developing overnight tonight for the GTA and then spreading across tomorrow. Right across the region, we're going to see a sizable amount of snow. It is not going to be the best day for travel, no question. And in Waterloo, Ontario, preparations are already underway to clear away and truck away some of the existing snow yeah, just to make room for more. <laughs> so there's going to be actually quite a bit of snow on the way from what is a Texas low that's headed our our way. Night hours when the snow would begin, it will continue through the overnight. Tomorrow morning's commute will be snowy from our Texas low that's moving up, and then it moves out by the evening. So the drive home the snow will have ended. However, then we're going to be dealing with the wind and blowing snow, reduced visibility. Of course, keeping in mind that crews will have to keep up on the snowfall ratio and the snowfall rate throughout the day, which is expected to be quite high. So these are the areas that will be impacted over the next few days. Lots of advisories out for this Texas low. How much snow? I know you want to know the numbers. Well, at this point for Oakville, down toward Hamilton, Grimsby, out toward Niagara, if you're in Fort Erie, we're expecting over 20 centimeters, but that 15 to 20 centimeter range is down into the Lake Erie shores and points south of the 401 mostly or along the 401. If you're north up into Guelph, Kitchener, Waterloo, that's still quite a bit of snow, 10 to 15 centimeters, including Toronto. So a lot of snow on the way with this. The seven day forecast brings us that snow tomorrow. And then we stay cold. In fact, if anything, we see the temperatures really dropping as we head through to the end of the week. And again, snowfall rates will be quite high. So I, this is what I would suggest. You're likely going to be needing to give yourself extra time tomorrow. And when you're stuck in traffic, you can think about the science behind snowflakes. It's actually quite a miracle, isn't it? Let's take a look. Hi, you might be surprised with what you see. So you're going to have your eyes glued to your windshield tomorrow as the snow falls down. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Well, the seven-day forecast looks like this in Hamilton. Again, a snowy day. The snowstorm is on its way. We cannot avoid it. Our storm watch team coverage continues of the Texas low. It's headed our way and it's going to bring a lot of snowfall and ooh, head headaches. <laughs> For those of you who are going to be commuting tomorrow, it is definitely going to be a problem. Here's the good news. Yesterday was a pretty decent day. Today, overall, give yourself extra time. Now, keep in mind, with the progression of this low coming toward us, there is going to be uh, some wind coming with that as well. We actually went out and asked people what they think of the snow and the winter so far this year. I love the optimistic snowboarder at the end. That's the best. Uh, well, we have this Texas low coming our way. It's going to make him very happy. <laughs> There's a lot of snow. Uh, also, wind. That wind is going to be picking up in intensity from the northeast as the low approaches. So winds, and there might, might be some enhancement here on the west end of Lake Ontario, just to add insult to injury on top of the synoptic or system snow that's on its way. And you're asking yourself, okay, lay it on me. What are the numbers? How much snow are we getting? Mm -hmm. 15 to 20 centimeters if you're in Hamilton, out through Niagara Way. Again, the boundary here is probably going to be right along the 401, the difference between, say, 10 and 20 centimeters of snow. Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph, the GTA, looking to see between probably 10 and 15 centimeters of snow. There are going to, I know we're going to get inundated with photos and videos. We love it because it ain't for the drive home. The problem isn't necessarily going to be falling snow. The snow will have been on the ground. It's just whether the crews have cleared them and also the winds will be strong and switching direction. So there may be some blowing snow, reduced visibility as a result of the drifting and the blowing snow. So neither the morning nor the evening drive are gonna be all that great. Seven day forecast, give yourself lots of extra time. And also with regard to travel uh, by air, or any other method, I think I'd just be kind of giving myself a little bit of extra time to make sure things are going as they should. We're likely to see delays. Wednesday, big storm. Thursday, temperatures still cold. Wind chills here reaching minus 18 by Friday, albeit bright. The weekend is still going to be cold, but these are, you know, average temperatures for this part of February. In Hamilton, again, watch for that snowfall. Could reach upwards of 15 to 20 centimeters of snow, and then a minus 7 will feel like minus 15 with a mix of sun and cloud on Thursday and slightly brighter Friday. The
Another storm on the way to southern Ontario, so it's no wonder that's what everybody's talking about on social media. Another storm coming. The skiing just keeps getting better and better. I love it when people put a silver lining on it. Take a look at this picture from Ontario Travel. This is from Ontario Roads, and you can see uh, it says, Snow, snow, go away. Don't come back another day. Huh, I like that. Next tweet. Oh, look, a special weather statement just in time for my birthday. Somebody's not loving the snow. And Cuba tomorrow. Glad to be getting out of this cold and snow just in time, too. Another blast coming tonight.